There are plenty of things to do when it rains. I'm singing in the rain, just singing in the rain. One could boost conservation efforts by collecting rainwater. However, there is one thing you never want to do when it rains. Water your lawn or yard. This happens more than you might think. When it happens, you could say it happens automatically. You know, quite often all of us have uh, been through neighborhoods and we've seen sprinklers going off, uh, you know, regardless of the weather. And, you know, this is where when it's rainy, drizzly, and, and the plants absolute don't need any of your water, you know, the system needs to be shut off. Face it, rain or shine, many of us are busy and don't always think to put our irrigation systems on rain delay or adjust for cooler weather when plants require less water. Enter the solution, the smart irrigation system. Technology has created a computer-aided system that controls how you water your yard. It will adjust so it will save water on an overcast day like today. If it doesn't need to turn on, it will keep itself off. Once programmed properly, the smart controller tracks all of the weather variables in your own backyard. It's like having your very own meteorologist. It will crunch all those variables and determine when you need to water for the most efficiency. The system may elect to skip a day or three due to rain or cooler weather. It may shorten the time the water is running, giving your plants what they need, but nothing more. This is where a smart controller, if programmed correctly, will again remove all this wasted water from your yard. Look at this. This bell curve shows the typical San Diego area irrigation pattern. As you would expect, it is higher in the summer months, lower in the winter. This is the water consumption of an unidentified customer. In this particular case, the peak of the curve is it on July, but you can see the area in red for the f fall w winter months. This is way above the green line. This is all potential water savings. In this case, a smart irrigation system could have helped the consumer reduce their use by 50%. Instead, water and money were poured onto plants that didn't need it. What would make the purchase of a smart controller even smarter? How about a rebate? For Otai Water District customers, it's $140, and that will subsidize a good portion of the cost of a smart irrigation controller. A very important caution. A smart controller by itself is as smart as eh, a box of rocks. They are not smart by themselves. You'll need to teach the controller. There's a tremendous responsibility on the part of the homeowner. The homeowner, or a responsible person, must program or teach the controller to be smart. You, as the bill payer, as the homeowner, have to take responsibility, learn how to program that, because there are times when there's a, perhaps a power outage or something just glitches up, you're going to have to run that system manually. To keep things simple, purchase off the recommended rebate list and ask the dealer plenty of questions. Because as you set up your system, it will ask you plenty of questions. Things like your zip code, climate information, questions about your slopes and their steepness. Some systems will come with a wind gauge. This will put the system on hold on a windy day so the water won't blow away from where you intended. In simple terms, spending a little time and money on a smart system now will save a lot of water and money in the future. You can start your savings almost immediately by applying for a special rebate. If you qualify, you could get back $140. Now the offer is good through June 30th, 2013, while funds are still available. You can apply online or download an application and simply send it in, but do me a favor and read all of the information carefully. Once you've been given the okay, be sure and purchase off the list of approved models. If you play this right, you could save up to 75% of your smart controller system. For the Otay Water District, I'm Leonard Villarreal.